In this video, I'll show you how you can export your 1080p footage as 4K to upload to YouTube so that YouTube compresses your videos less and you end up with better quality videos on your channel. So I shoot all my YouTube videos in a Panasonic GH3. This camera is about eight years old, but it still shoots excellent 1080p footage and I managed to pick mine up a couple of years ago for about £120. Now 1080p footage is still excellent quality video and working on it has a few benefits compared to 4K. As I said, I got my camera for about 120 quid. My 2014 Mac is really capable when editing 1080p footage, but really struggles with anything above that, in particular 4K, and I'm not quite ready to upgrade my computer. So all in all, it just makes financial sense for me to keep shooting in 1080p for YouTube at this moment in time, but I still want my videos to look the best they can when I upload them to the channel. So that's why I upscale the footage to 4K. And I got this tip from the master of budget filmmaking here on YouTube, Nigel Barosh. He still uses the GH3 and make sure to check out his channel for great budget filmmaking tips. Now this won't make your footage actually 4K. The only way to do this is to shoot in 4K or higher from your camera. But what it will do is make your YouTube videos look better because YouTube will be compressing your videos less. This is obvious as footage being played back in 4K is obviously going to be compressed less than it would in the standard 1080p format. But even more specifically, YouTube actually uses different codecs for everything uploaded in 1080p and everything uploaded in 1440p and higher. The older AVC1 codec is used for everything 1080p and below, and the newer VP9 codec is used for everything 1440 and above. You can check the codec of any video by right-clicking the video and then selecting Stats for Nerds. Now there's lots to be said about the actual difference between the codecs, but to keep things short, I won't go into that detail here. You can find more information about the codecs elsewhere, here in YouTube or in Google, but in short, the VP9 codec is just gonna compress your footage less and let it play back at a higher bitrate. So for those of you shooting in 1080p, I'll show you how you can still take advantage of the newer codec by upscaling your footage to 4K. So I've opened up a project I've finished that just needs exported. All the footage in this project was shot in 1080 and the timeline is 1082, which you can see in the sequence settings here. So you don't need to change anything while you're working the project, only when it comes to exporting it. So when we go to export, the first thing you want to do is set the format to H.264. And then go to preset, and for the preset, you're gonna to want to pick YouTube, 2160p 4K Ultra HD. Now that's all you really need to do to export your 1080p footage as 4K, but we'll go into particular settings to make sure we get the best quality video uploaded for YouTube. So the next thing you want to do is make sure to select render at maximum depth. Make sure the profile is set at high, which it should be and the level should be already adjusted to 5.2, just leave that as is. And the next thing we want to do is go down to the bitrate settings. Now you want to make sure, first of all, to set this from one pass to two pass, and this is where you'll set your bitrate. Now, some people recommend setting it up to the full 100. However, I've found it's not really worth it as it can take an absolute age to render even a five minute video and you won't really notice the difference in the final uploaded version. In fact, if we check what YouTube recommends for a 24 frames per second video that mine is here, they recommend anything between 35 and 45 megabytes per second. It is more if you're using 60 frames per second, but as I typically shoot in 24 frames per second, I'm just gonna set mine to 40 with a maximum depth of 45. Now this still takes much longer to render than typical HD footage, but in my experience, it's much quicker than setting the values to 100. But if you have time or a faster computer, it's maybe worth trying out these higher numbers. But in my experience, it's not really worth it. And as you're already just upscaling 1080p footage to 4K, I don't really think it makes any difference. And the last thing we need to click is this use maximum render quality box. Then just hit OK and let your project export. So that's how you upscale your 1080p footage to 4K. Now I don't think this is absolutely essential. There's nothing wrong with 1080p footage and it will still be used for years to come. It's just something you can do if you like to try and push a wee bit more from the YouTube compression. Now there might also be some biases in play where people are more likely to click on 4K videos than HD videos just because they think 4K videos are gonna be automatically better. Now, I don't really have any evidence for this, but it wouldn't surprise me if it turned out to be true. It's like when people presume that more megapixels make for a better camera, which isn't really the case at all. But anyway, I hope this video was useful to you. And if it was, it'd be great if you liked the video and you could subscribe to my channel. I cover everything from Premiere Pro, After Effects and Photoshop, and much more. I'll leave a playlist of more of the videos you might be interested in watching here. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.